more moving diaries. Filmed while I'm moving in the car. <laughs> I know. Uh, bad joke. Anyway, so current status of where our plan is at. So we have, because of the distance between where we currently are living and where we're wanting to move to, have enlisted the help of family on the house hunt. So basically what they're going to do is work with our realtor up there to sort of pre-screen properties for us. Um, and then when they have a few that they really think might be the one, and then we'll fly up for those. Um, which will really help a lot. But if you're going to do this, you have to really like trust the opinions of the people that you're having do this on your behalf. Um, or at, le at least trust their opinions regarding a house. So anyway, um, so we're doing that. In the meantime, we're still working on our finances on this end in California. And... It's just way more difficult than I think it, I think it should be. Um, despite the fact that you have lots of assets in the bank and um, money and all of that stuff, it's still hard to do what we're wanting to do and stressful and expensive. And, anyway because we want to try to move and um, buy the new place and move into it and then afterwards sell the old one so that makes it really difficult so we're working on it but in the meantime I'm the one that's home all the time so I'm the one that gets all the phone calls and it is a quarter to 11 this morning I'm just now getting out to go run the couple errands I wanted to run um, which I intended to do a couple hours before now but I started getting text messages early this morning from my parents and the realtor and taking care of stuff from the bank and the gardener showed up at the house early to do their work and they kept knocking on the door asking questions and all of this while I was still trying to drink my morning coffee and in my pajamas. So that was interesting. So anyway. <laughs> I'm just now getting out. I finally did, was able to shower and dress, obviously, and uh, just now getting out to run my errands. And then I guess I'll go home and field some more questions. Maybe try to get some art done, but I don't know. We'll see. I do have a couple of projects on the desk I need to work on, so I don't know. Anyway, it ought to be interesting. I'm in the wrong lane. All right. I am going to get done what I need to and then get home and hopefully nothing blows up in the meantime. All right, I'll be back. We are here for another episode of the Moving Diaries or another segment of such. Anyway, I'm going to edit all of these at some point into something that makes sense. So today is July, what is today? 11th, I think. Let's see, yeah, July 11th. The computer says so. Um, it has been quite a journey so far and we haven't even found a property yet. Um, we finally have the money part of this arranged so that we can do what we want in the order that we want. I'm not going to go into any more detail than that because it's kind of nobody's business. No offense to any of you out there. Um, but let's just say that it was more time consuming than we thought it would be considering our bank balance. <laughs> so anyway, um... It's a finally all done. We are, um, obviously I am not in my art room. This is my kitchen right here. And this is actually our, was our library space. It's originally to the house should be the dining room. That's not how we use it though. Um, my office and my husband's office are being painted and having some drywall repair done. And they're going to be painted this kind of beige color. They call it realtor. I don't know, real litter, beige, real litter, you know, new house beige um, to make the house more neutral. Um, and that's going to take about a week to, to get all the workmen in when they have time to come do all that. So in the meantime, I'm in the dining room. And what you can't see kind of that way um, on camera is my husband's also out here. We have two like small 
folding tables next to each other that um, I used to actually use when I did craft shows. We still have the tables and I, we have my desk set up on one and his on the other. So I'm working in a, the space is about two by four. Uh, yeah, really tiny. So anyway, it's been an interesting adventure. Um, we're supposed to sign off on some stuff tomorrow. And then once that's ready, we're good to hit the ground running and get a place. So um, we've seen already a couple possibilities, but because some of the legal and financial stuff wasn't lined up yet, we kind of lost out on them, which is too bad because one of them was super cute. Um, and we got outbid on one, which I think I already told you all about. But I really wasn't willing to go over market value on a property, although gorgeous and in a great neighborhood. Um, I really wasn't willing to go that much over market value considering I knew the property needed some work, so that's not okay. Um, so we're going to keep looking. We're going up on Sunday, so cross your fingers. By the time you all see this, hopefully we've got a place and we're under contract. And um, yeah, so we are going to keep doing that every weekend if we have to going forward until we find something. Um, we're just flying up for the day. The flight from San Jose to Portland is only about an hour and 45 minutes. It's like two hours gate to gate. Um, <clears throat> it's faster to get to Portland from San Jose than it is to drive to Sacramento. Um, so yeah, anyway. So we're going to be doing that until we find a place. We've got a move out plan for here in San Jose already. My sister helped me. Um, not only get a bunch of packing done, thank you Elizabeth so much, you and Philip both, big hugs, um, but they helped me um, also get a move out plan. They've both moved a lot more than I have, so they have lots of experience, so I asked their advice, and I got. So I think we have a good move out plan, and she's going to help coordinate it, and um, I think that's it for the moment. I need to go to the bank, and I need to go to the P.O. box. I can't find anything. Everything is like, I'm at that stage where Half of what I need, I think, is in a box somewhere, and I don't know where. Um, so I'm just making it work without. I did, thankfully, leave most of the business stuff out of boxes, and it won't be packed until the last minute, and it will be going in a car. So I will be able to hopefully shut the Etsy store down for only a minimum amount of time, uh, like three or four days, hopefully. So anyway, depending on how fast we can get internet at the new house. Um... That's it for the moment. I can't think of anything else right now. It's been a stressful journey, but I'm glad that um, we are approaching the viewpoint where we can sort of, if we turn the corner in the right direction, see the light at the end of the tunnel. So we're at that turning point. So cross your fingers. That's it for the moment. I'll be back. <coughs> I just spent five minutes talking to the computer and the thing wasn't on. <laughs> Welcome to another Moving Diaries. So today is July 26th. It's a Thursday. It's just after 8 a.m. And we, at the time of filming this, are currently under contract for a house. We want to bid on a house. Uh, later today, the building inspection for that house will happen. And we're in the process of lining up the finances for the new house and getting this house ready to sell and all of that entails and my world is just chaotic right now and so is my husband's things are stressful to say the least and there is just so much paperwork involved which would be why we've been here 26 years because of not wanting to just be bothered to be honest um but the new house is in tigard oregon and my husband will be, wor be working in Tualatin. The new house is less than three miles from his work. And he will be able to come home for lunch if he wants. Like, uh, we're just looking forward to the slower pace of life, him having a shorter commute, spending more time together. The house is a lot newer house, built in 2005. So um, it, you know, doesn't need as much maintenance and upkeep as this one does. And we like, we've liked our little house here in San Jose, but... You know, it's almost 50 years old. So, um, That being said, I have a day today where there's no workmen in my house here in San Jose. Nobody here getting it ready to sell, which we've been doing for like two weeks now. And um, I'm going to enjoy the peace and quiet in the house while I can because they're back tomorrow. Um, the, 
at least two rooms in my house look like this behind me. This We are really in my art room. I know it's a different color. Um, and these, for the most part, are art room boxes. Um, there's a few other things that we don't want the workmen, the movers to take or <clears throat> because they're precious or they're fragile or they're very personal um, or they won't take, they won't take liquids they, um, or anything like that. Um, they will take artwork, but they create each piece and that's really expensive. So we've staged this house so that we have two rooms full of stuff that we can basically close the doors and tell them pack the rest of the house. We, that's the plan anyway. Um, we're supposed to close the first week of September on the new house and hopefully be moved out shortly thereafter. If all goes well, cross your fingers. And um, in the meantime, getting this one ready to sell and get getting everything done except a few things that really can't be done easily until we move out. And then hopefully the open house will be on the 15th of September here. It's really stressful. It's really busy, crazy, hectic. We knew this was going to happen. Um, we are just being mindful of what choices we're making, even if some of them are costing us a little more money, but they're less stressful. And that's just really important because we could do this a different way and do it quicker and cheaper, but it would be a lot more stressful and we just neither one of us can handle that. So it's been great having the support of people who understand. Uh, and in the case of my parents who live they don't live in Oregon, but they live in the Pacific Northwest and they live about two hours away from where we're going to be living. And yet they've been supremely helpful in helping us on the house hunt, helping us. Um, they're going to be there today for the building inspection on the new house um, with our realtor. Uh, super helpful. I just couldn't thank them enough. We also, funny enough, have a lot of friends who have said now that we've publicly announced that we're doing this, that have said they want to do it too. So we have told them that we'll help them if and when the time comes and that if they really decide that they want to do it and that they can come up and stay and check out the area. We'll have plenty of guest room space. And so, yeah, it'll be interesting. I fully expect, though, to still have things in boxes at Christmas time. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. So anyway. Um, I think that's it for the moment. I don't have anything else at the moment, but cross your fingers that everything goes well. We're in the very beginning stages of the bid on, bid on the new house and um, just started the paperwork for sale of this house. So cross your fingers. Hopefully by the end of September, all will be said and done and this one will be sold or, or in the process of, of selling. And yeah, <laughs> just... It's a lot, people. Yeah, I don't know. It's a lot. I'm, the end result's going to be worth it, but it's a lot. I'm anyway, do this with the camera. <laughs> try, try to get rid of the. Oh, there it is. The it's from the blinds from the window that's right there. Uh, anyway, hey guys. Um, I zoomed in just a little bit so you don't have to see as much as the chaos is behind me. It is August third. It's Friday, um, and. The moving, buying, selling process is progressing sort of quickly on some areas and not on others, but it is progressing. And hopefully by this time next month, we'll be in the new house. I hope. Everybody, everybody cross your fingers. I might last until that long having my stuff in boxes, but I don't know. I can guarantee to you that I'm going to be spending the first two weeks that we're in the house unpacking stuff. It may not be in the exact right place, but I want my stuff out of boxes. I really, really do. The only room that won't be out of boxes right away will be the art room. And that will be because what is going to be the art room is right now got carpet in it. And we're going to be putting a new floor in, a hard floor. I've spent the last 20 odd years that we've been in this house with an art room that was either in the garage with the concrete floor that was gross or 
in here with a carpeted floor that's also now gross and from paint splotches and I just I want a pretty floor so I'm not going to unpack too much of the art room until the floor gets put in but I do think I'm going to include it in the moving diaries and bring you all along with me and um, film some clips for you all of getting the, the not only the house together but the art room together I think um, I'm just making lists like crazy. There's so many things to do, not only here in this house, but when we do finally close on the new house, I've got to set up all the utilities up there. I've got to make sure we get high speed up there fairly quickly. My husband's going to be working from home a lot, so we need high speed super quick. And we're going to need either two hardwired high speed connections or one with a signal booster because it is a two-story house and his computer will be downstairs and mine's going to be upstairs so which is a lot it's a lot and there's stuff to do here and just the list is endless you've got insurance companies and utility companies and the tv people and the internet people and just it's a lot of stuff anyway we have some good help and some good people that have been helping us. I'm going to list a couple of different realtors in the description below that have been helping us. Uh, Dave Rudden here in California, he's with Keller Williams, and also Sarah Ruffner, who is also with Keller Williams up in Oregon. Both really great people. Uh, we also have a couple of um, finance people that have helping be helping us get the stuff lined up. Um, Tom McNamee here in the San Jose Bay Area and. Um, Joel up in um, uh, Oregon, Joel Martin, I believe his last name is Martin. I, I'm just, I do know his last name. Suddenly my brain is a blank. Pretty sure it's Martin. Anyway, I'm going to link all of their um, websites in the description below if you need any um, help with loans or equity lines or um, you're thinking about looking for property, give them a jingle. Um, and um, if they can help you, I'm sure they can steer you in the right direction. You really need good people helping you with this, and the friends and family have been invaluable. Without them, I don't know what we would be doing. I really, I really just don't. We have uh, Steve from the uh, moving company who's going to be moving the bulk of our possessions. Uh, really great, nice guy. Found a handyman in San Jose that I love, um, Dennis Rodriguez. Now that I'm leaving, I find a good handyman. What is with that? I also found a great um, gardener, and I'm gonna link as many of these as I can in the description below. Um, if they have websites, I'll link their websites and their contact information. Um, it's just a lot of stuff. I'm trying really hard not to get overwhelmed in the midst of all of this. For those that don't see my regular vlog. I had a mammogram scare um, and I had to go in for an ultrasound. It turned out to just be a cyst, but I was already stressed out. I was already up to and over my eyeballs with stress and it was just one more thing. And so now I am, uh, or I should say, I have a prescription for lorazepam for my anxiety just in case I need it. And I haven't had to take any, but it's been a close call. and. Um, not because there's any shame in taking it. I'll, if I need it, I'll take it just because I don't like taking medication. So for those of you out there who are taking things, something like that or other medication, do what you need to for yourself to feel better. Um, but yeah, it's been stressful. It's been really stressful, but I have good friends and family that are helping me and sometimes helping me just means um, talking me down off the ledge. And, Sometimes in the case of my little sister Elizabeth, it means being my moving coordinator. Um, she's moved way more than I have in my life, and so she's been helping, which has been great. And um, she's been our, yeah, intermediary with Steve, the moving company guy. And um, my parents have helped us with the house hunt, which has been also been great. In fact, Dad's coming down to... Um, help with the building inspections here at this house and also I think he's taking the dog up with him um, when he leaves which will be sad but we won't have to worry about bandit 
during the actual move of this stuff behind me or when the movers are here packing. So um, he'll be in a safe place with my parents and their dogs and they'll take care of him to the best of their abilities. I trust them with that. And my daughter is already up there with her boyfriend. Um, so they'll all watch out for him. So he'll be in a safe place and he'll be one less thing I have to worry about, to be honest, and that would be great. In the meantime, I have, <laughs> you know, these squishy things. I didn't understand the attraction and then my anxiety started getting the better of me and I was at the store the other day. I kind of do now. There's just something about them, about the feel of them, the texture of them. And then watching it come back up. This is one of the Shopkins squishies. You can find it at Walmart or Target. It's in a blind bag. This is the mushroom. Um, yeah, this is probably going to like go in my handbag during the move because I'll probably be doing this a lot. <laughs> um, you can't drive when you take the med anxiety medication. So anyway, it's just an interesting learning process. I, I look forward to the new move into the new house. It's a really great space and I think a really great neighborhood and it leads a lot of changes, but I think they're all for the better. So anyway. That's it for the moment. I will update y'all when I can, and I am going to just try to remember to keep breathing. That's all I can do at the moment. All right, I'll be back. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Moving Diaries. I really just felt the need to document our journey through selling our house we've had for more than 20 years and finding our new place, our dream house, and getting that whole process done. And all of the stressful and happy and exciting things that happen in between. So um, the unexpected to the expected. Um, it's not an easy process. Those of you who have moved, some of you way more than me know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't move easily. This is only going to be my third time as an adult that I've moved. And this is a pretty major one. I've never as an adult lived outside of the state of California. So yeah, it's going to be fun. We do love the Portland area though. It's a little bit colder and damper than down here uh, in California, but we do love the atmosphere up there. Um, and so, yeah, <laughs> um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the, um, comments below on the, this video. Um, if you go to the video description, any relevant links are going to be there. And if I forget, somebody remind me in the comments. Um, you'll also find my link tree link, which will give you a list of every single place you can find me on the internet, including Instagram, Twitter, Facebook groups, everything, Etsy shop, all of it. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Moving Diaries. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like notifications of when the next video uh, comes out, hit that little bell icon. And uh, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.